Mindy Lush. I'm here with Hub Culture at Transition Forum in Monaco. Really pleased to be joined now by Sabrina Kriep. She's a professor at the Natural History Museum in Paris and an expert on great apes. Exactly. Yeah. So you've been studying the great apes in Uganda for 20 years. And tell me what's been happening lately that's concerning you. Yeah, I'm a veterinarian and uh, I'm very concerned by the health of great apes and more especially of um, chimpanzees, mm -hmm. which are our closest relatives. Mm -hmm. And I discover that uh, part of them, about 20% of the group that I'm studying, have facial deformities. Hmm. Uh, one female has a cleft lip and others have a nose problem, mm -hmm. like a flat face. Mm -hmm. And some females have also reproduction problems, mm -hmm. like no cycle at all. Wow. And so we are wondering if uh, mm. there is a relationship with the fact that they are living very close to human beings, mm. and that there is a lot of human activities around, mm. and the health problems that they are developing. So what is leading you to think that it's a relationship in terms of their proximity to humans? What are humans doing? What's the consumption issue that's happening by humans that's affecting the chimpanzees? We are in a very special area. Uh, we are inside a national park, but around um, the territory of chimpanzees is surrounded by uh, tea culture mm -hmm. and some other agriculture. Mm -hmm. There is also a large road crossing the territory. And so they have a very um, uh, high impact mm -hmm. on the behavior of wild chimpanzee and mm. the everyday life. And uh, this type of agriculture uses a lot of pesticides. Mm -hmm. So we try to find out which uh, chemicals are uh, in the territory mm -hmm. of chimpanzee and we analyze uh, the rivers, water, mm -hmm. And we found out like there was 13 pesticides. 13. 13. Incredible. So like a large cocktail <coughs> of pesticides yeah. in the river, even five kilometers away from the place where people are using it. Hmm. So it means that uh, chimpanzees and especially mother mm. are exposed to those pesticides when they are pregnant mm. and uh, babies were born with such facial mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. So we, we were very surprised to discover this because it, wa it was not described elsewhere in the world, mm. but this is true that this is a very special place mm. for chimpanzees, yeah. but it might be something um, that show what will happen to them in mm -hmm. the near future because forest is uh, disappearing yeah. everywhere. Agriculture is gaining more and more mm -hmm. surface. And uh, I think chimpanzees are uh, sending us like an alarm signal. Mm. And we continue to um, study wildlife in this area. And mm -hmm. we discover that baboons also are affected mm. by such problems. Uh -huh. And of course, human beings, like infant uh, mm -hmm. children living in the village, mm -hmm. also have some problems. So we really want to uh, try to reduce this mm. impact. And we are thinking um, about trying to switch to uh, more uh, sustainable mm. agriculture. So we are working with uh, local farmers mm -hmm. and uh, we are expecting in a five year uh, term mm -hmm. uh, to be able to provide help to support uh, organic agriculture mm -hmm. and also increase in that way revenue because those people are very poor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tea worker, for example, um, are the ones who are also poaching because mm -hmm. they have no money and the food is free in the forest. Right. So they put snares and then chimpanzees, mm -hmm. but also elephants, baboons, right. lose a hand or even the trunk for elephants. Right. So in improving the revenue of those mm -hmm. people, we may expect not only to have mm. better health for human beings and wildlife, mm -hmm. but also uh, having a, a better life uh, on so that's interesting. So the organic farming and taking the pesticides away actually will increase their, the, the revenue of the people who live there. That's right? Yeah, that's what we are expecting. And mm -hmm. the good thing in this uh, project is that we are the one who can uh, do something mm. because the tea is not produced for local people. Right. The tea is drank by uh, people here in mm -hmm. Europe or uh, in the US. Mm. And if we are um, more responsible in our consumption yes, and, mm -hmm. and if we know where well, the tea that we are uh, drinking is from hmm. uh, we may act and we may help also wildlife but also human beings uh, to have a better uh, environment sabrina thank you very much for stopping by to tell me about the importance of great apes for the environment and for human beings as well i'm edie lash and this is hub culture in monaco